I have a, uh, a degree in mathematics, applied mathematics, and I have a master's in applied mathematics as well. But I was always interested in image processing, and, and especially images like this that see inside the body. So um, I did my PhD in computer science and studied uh, uh, problems in image processing and medical imaging. I'm using uh, a program called ImageJ. It's freely downloadable. It's from the National Institute of Health in the United States. One of the big sources of information for a doctor is uh, imaging. Uh, so they'll ask you questions, how are you feeling, what does it hurt, all this sort of stuff, and they can feel your body in different parts. Um, do blood tests and things, but then you can get into um, medical imaging. Um, so this is my data, uh, and it's a whole bunch of images. Um, they're sort of all stacked up like a deck of cards. So we're seeing one at a time, but as I move down through the deck of cards, you can see different slices through my head. Um, and so the doctors can look at this, and, and re particular radiologists or doctors that look at medical images. The radiologists will look at this and, and try to diagnose a disease. I'll show you this data set um, from uh, the National Library of Medicine. It's called the Visible Human Project. It's uh, a little bit gruesome. What they did is they took a guy on uh, death row in prison, and uh, he donated his body to science. So he died by lethal injection. They took his body. They took a bunch of different types of scans of his body, and they also froze him in a big block of ice, and then and then cut him like with a like a meat slicer, at one millimeter at a time, and then took uh, photographs with a cross section. So if you put all those photographs together, you get this volumetric data set uh, of his body. So what we're looking at here is his torso. And these are actual photographs. We also have MRI. Uh, here's a T1-weighted MRI of the same person. And so you can, uh, you can see that they look similar. We also have a, a CT scan or a CAT scan. So, so normally a, a radiologist would have these two things and try to find disease. Now, um, the good thing about having two different imaging modalities, we call them, this is MRI and this is a CAT scan, is they show different things, there are different advantages. So uh, since we're looking at it, basically a cross-section through his thorax, in the CAT scan you can see that uh, the bones show up bright. Let me go into his vertebral column here. See his vertebrae show up here. These are ribs down the side here. So you can see the bones nicely here, but a lot of the other stuff is all kind of medium gray. But in the MRI, MRI does not see bone at all. The bone just shows up as black. You can see actually the arm bone, the bone marrow shows up lighter, but the bone itself is dark, so you don't get much information about bones. But you get a lot of uh, contrast between other soft tissues. So you can see the liver here, uh, I believe that's the stomach, and the small intestines here, this lighter stuff is fat, there's muscle, and then fat out here. So you get a lot of information about the different soft tissues. MRI is great for differentiating soft tissues. CAT scans are good at seeing bone versus muscle. Thank you.